Hi there, my name's Dan, and today I'm gonna walk you through the VictorOps suggested responders functionality. When you're on call, there are a lot of there's a lot of confusion around who should be responding to issues and who you need to escalate to, what the issue is actually about. Um, so machine learning is actually making its way into a lot of incident management and response processes. So I wanted to show you a little bit about just one small feature in VictorOps that can help make this make on call suck a lot less. So here over on the left you've got your users who are on call. In the middle, you actually see all of the timeline, all of these incidents that have been occurring or are currently paging out to users or escalation policies. And then here on the right, we have all of the incidents in the system. So let's just take a look at this Nagios incident, for example. So in here, you can see the payload of all the information going through for this incident. You can see that it's paging this primary SRE policy and it's paging these two users in the system can click annotations to get more information. Um, but in this case, let's say it paged out to me and I'm not the person that needs to respond to this issue. I need to figure out who it should go to. But maybe it's a system I don't work on. Maybe it's something that I'm just totally unaware of. So when you go up here to add responders, you can either do it manually. If you do know, you can uh, page it out to another escalation policy or another user. Or underneath here, you can actually see these suggested responders. So your incident management system will actually learn who is responding to similar problems or uh, maybe people that are on teams that are likely to be able to resolve this issue. So you can see down here, you know, it, it suggests that Gail Bedecker might be able to fix this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Gail Bedecker as another responder on this issue. So now we have multiple responders and uh, we know that someone is going to get working on this. As your system receives more alerts over time, it'll actually get better at suggesting who should be the person to respond to these issues. So the better your system becomes over time, the more that you use VictorOps. Uh, please reach out if you have any other questions or if you want to learn about more of the functionality in VictorOps that can help with your alert routing, your escalation policies, or just making on-call suck less generally. Thank you.